I'm Victoria Samuels and I'm here with your Los Angeles Cronkite Sports Report. I'm at the Santa Monica Beach and believe it or not, many kids in LA have never had the opportunity to come here. Cronkite News reporter Liam Barrett rides a surf bus and shows us how they are creating opportunity. Load up the surf bus. It's time to go to the beach. The Surf Bus Foundation picks up kids, like the ones at Hollenbeck Park Summer Camp, and teaches them how to swim, surf, and enjoy the beach. Something Recreation Director Armando Martinez says they don't always have the opportunity to do. So you have inner city kids coming from the inner city of LA, uh, East LA, coming to enjoy maybe for the first time, some of them, uh, the beach, the glory of the beach. USA Swimming Foundation found that 64% of black children and 45% of Latino children don't know how to swim. Surf Bus Director Marion Clark wants her foundation to help bridge the gap by bringing these kids to the beach and helping them feel more comfortable in the water. In LA County, by the time kids are middle school aged, half of the youth who live here have never seen the beach. And that's, that's gnarly. Surf Bus Foundation's mission is to connect youth from all across Los Angeles with the ocean. The beach can be more than a public area. For Clark, it's a place of peace. I was homeless with my family, and the beach is where we came before we knew where we were going to sleep at night. This place is a refuge. This place is safe. This is where life happens. This is where you learn about yourself. And I can't think of a better way to spend the time I have on the planet sharing that with other people. In the city of Los Angeles, with nearly 4 million residents, there are only 16 public pools open year round. Organizations like the Surf Bus make a difference in the community, and the kids are loving every second of it. I love the beach! In Los Angeles, Liam Barrett, Cronkite News. I think he saw Clark said that the beach changed her life forever, and she hopes that it can do the same for others. Now on to another opportunity, Los Angeles will be hosting the 2028 Paralympics. And there's an organization that is creating opportunity for those with disabilities. Madison Thomas attended their largest event. Games like this one are one of many that give people of all ages the opportunity to participate in sports. If you didn't think sport was possible, and in one day or maybe the weekend, you learned everything is possible. And what seemed like the impossible became the possible for four people this weekend who ran for the first time since being injured. Someone who loses their leg, for someone who's an amputee, running for the very first time unlocks a whole new set of freedom. 17-year-old Ezra Freck was born with a disability and started doing adaptive sports when he was eight years old. His dad created Angel City Sports in Los Angeles. That was, hey, we've got weather, we got people, a lot of people in Southern California, right? Sports mecca. The organization hosts over 100 different sports clinics throughout the year and has major sponsors and visits from professional athletes like Ezra, who is now a Paralympian. Paralympians were at this weekend's event and talked about the importance of giving back to the community and providing opportunities for younger generations. Ezra competed for Team USA in track and field in Tokyo. Hopefully, you know, if I come to events like this and other Paralympians come to events like this, hopefully little kids can see us on the TV and inspire them to go after their goals in the same way. Their goal might be the same as Ezra's. I think our future is, is bright, partly because the Paralympic Games are coming to Los Angeles in 2028. In Norwalk, Madison Thomas, Cronkite News. Angel City Sports has events year-round. For more information, go to angelcitysports.com. And that's it for your Cronkite Sports Report from L.A. I'm Victoria Samuels. Back to you.